Hello and welcome to Paula Stitch English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. When you start to be creative with sewing, many fabrics appear that you do not know where and how to use them. And they lie for years and wait to be used. The reasons are different. The fabrics can be worn out or of unclear colors, very loose. There may be some spots or holes on them. Or in the end you just don't like them. However, we will not throw anything away. We'll give it a new life. So, let's begin. Put all the fabrics on the base fabric. If there are any seams, just cut them off. The contrasting combination of colors looks good. The most important thing when laying the fabrics is to keep the direction of the sheer thread. I ended up with about 9 layers of fabric and a base fabric additionally. Generously and carefully pin off all the layers with pins. Then draw the lines for the seams diagonally, at a 45 degree angle to the shear thread, spacing 1.5 cm between each line. I started with drawing a square in the center. In some places more than 10 layers of fabric need to be stitched. To make the canvas lie flat, I will use a handmade extension table. We seam evenly with a regular stitch and a small stitch line. The free edge, so as not to interfere, can be twisted in a tube. Firstly, we sew the central square and then move on to the edges. On the reverse side, we just have stitched lines. After the entire base has been stitched, we check, trim and cut off the protruding edges. Let's rub the edge of your workpiece with a trim. Bend the edge of the trim and begin to stitch. When about 5 mm remain to the corner, stop the needle in the fabrics. Lift the presser foot and rotate your workpiece. Pull up the corner of trim so that it is at the right angle. Straightened and sew till the end. Then bend the inlay to the reverse side. Bend the edge of the trim inside and sew it too. For further work, prepare the scissors or a seam reaper. We carefully pierce the fabric between the seams and cut through all the fabrics, except for the base fabric. Even though I had 9 layers, they were all thin. Let's see how they fluff. So. We cut the entire workpiece. Take your time, we do not seek to cut through all the layers of fabric at once. Cut in two or three layers. And now we begin the magic. Take the hard clothes brush and carefully rub all the layers. You can also knead them with your hands. As you can see, the upper layers have been well fluffed, but the lower ones have remained almost untouched. To reach the inner layers, fold the workpiece and brush inside the seams. The fluffiness of the chanel will depend on how carefully you ruffle the fabrics. Look, this is what a combed chanel looks like. For additional fluffiness, machine wash it with clothes conditioner to soften the fabrics even more and make it nicer to walk on. The rug turned out to be so pretty, soft and colorful. A true wonder of how to turn the leftover fabrics into a thing that your whole family will love to have at home. I hope you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique yourself. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. Your attention is appreciated, and see you in the next episode.